Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I have yet another movie review, so I hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror film from Spain, Spanish language English subs, released in the year 2010, directed by Fernando Barrera Luna, and this film is called Atrocious. So Atrocious is a found footage horror film about a young brother and sister who are travelling to their family uh, rural property. Now this rural property has gained a lot of excitement because there is an urban legend surrounding this house because it's located in the middle of the woods. And legend has it that in the woods there's a ghostly girl who helps people find the way home after they get lost. So when they get to the rural property they start to in interview some locals and the locals actually have far more sinister tales. And so obviously this creates enough curiosity for the brother and sister to want to do a little bit of investigating for themselves. But this is where they find that face to face with an, an absolute nightmare. So whether or not they can come back out of this ordeal alive is something you're going to have to find out for yourself. Because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Atrocious. I wanted to love this film and I was very excited to see this movie for two reasons. Number one, it's a found footage horror film. Now if you're not a fan, uh, found, found footage horror fan, then you're not going to get anything out of this movie and so you probably shouldn't watch it. And number two, it's a Spanish horror film. Now when Spain and found footage go together, it's very exciting because you know, they do it very well. Juanme Belaguerra and Paco Plaza made a franchise called Wreck. And I think Wreck is one of the most ferocious horror experiences I've had. And it stands as one of my favourite horror films. And so for that reason, you know, being Spain and found footage, Footage, I thought that the level of expectation was risen at a very high level for Atrocious and I was wondering whether or not Fernando Barrera Luna could actually produce another memorable experience and so that was the the positivity I had coming into the movie that was the expectations I had but I had the hesitations based on the fact that uh, this could have been a generic found footage horror film that was just trying to cash in off many horror films that had come before it. and that's ultimately the biggest problem with this subgenre it's very cheap to make but unfortunately there's not enough creative purpose to actually make a lot of the movie stand out on their own and so that, that in a turn brings a lot of predictability and so that was the skepticism I had so on one hand I had the hope that it would be another wreck type of film that would be very memorable but on the other hand uh, it could fall into the second category which is a sub a subgenre that's very generic and very disposable and unfortunately atrocious belongs to that second group actually I think this movie is aptly titled because I thought it was quite atrocious because the movie is just not very well made it's just not a very scary film because it doesn't have the game plan it feels like a movie that the director has said, okay, well, I want to make a found footage horror film. This is going to be cheap, but I'm going to make try and make it look like the Blair Witch as much as possible. But when you don't have the ability to create what Eduardo Sanchez created in Blair Witch, it does become very evident. And when that becomes evident, it starts to override the whole experience. And all the positives that the movie has starts to become clouded by the negatives and you start to forget the positive, uh, positivity. Now, the positivity is that there are some fairly creepy moments, but those creepy moments are contradicted by moments that felt very tedious. Uh, there's some of the scenes were elongated to a point very unnecessarily that become an exercise in tedium. It become an exercise in frustration. And when you're becoming frustrated, you're not actually becoming scared at the overall situation that is happening right before your very eyes. And so this is a 70 minute film and that's ultimately a problem is because it's not a very long movie anyway. But when you have so much filler, it's evident that this movie should have been a short film because it just doesn't have the material to go all the way over the line as far as a feature movie is concerned. So there are moments that are extremely generic and predictable. I just didn't think the main characters were that interesting. The main characters, you didn't want to see them die, but there's not enough background into these people to actually give you the insight that they are people. And found footage horror is all about putting you in the moment, all about putting you in that terrifying situation. But unfortunately... The terrifying situations in Atrocious don't come about is because, as I said, when the horror is hitting you, the scenes are dragged and dragged and you start to feel like, hey, well, let's just keep the ball rolling. It doesn't really snowball. It goes into a snowball, but it just stays static and it doesn't really develop into anything that actually has you on the edge of your seat. It, it threatens to have you on the edge of your seat. I thought to myself, whoa, this is creepy, but the scene goes on and on, whether it's a person running through the woods or whether it's a person waiting for something to knock on the door, you're just waiting there for ages and all the sudden you start to realize all right well this is dragging this is not enticing me as much as it really should and so the overall promise at the start of each of these scenes is not complemented by a very rewarding finish and in the end as I said it become very frustrating and the fact that it's very generic you know the overall story of this ghost in the woods I thought all right well you know, I've seen this sort of thing before and what is it bringing you to the table unfortunately it's not bringing anything new and a lot of people will tell you found footage horror it's it's outstayed it's welcome you know it's been used up there's no 
creative ideas. And there are creative ideas out there, but atrocious is a prime example of what that thought process is all about. And that's a thought process I don't like, but I can't blame people for thinking that if they saw atrocious because it just doesn't bring anything new. I thought the ending was very substandard. I was looking at my watch. I checked out well before the finish, and that's ultimately <clears throat> a massive problem. So as I said, it would have been much better as a short experience, a short film, and that really pains me to say is because I really wanted to love this film, but I'm brutally honest, and if you're being brutally honest, this is a movie that I thought was very appropriately titled because it just doesn't have anything in there to give a lasting impression. And so you can discard this on the very large pile of disposable found footage horror films. It's definitely not up there with Wreck, and even if you are a diehard found footage horror fan, I'd probably say skip this because you know there are a lot of generic found footage horror films out there. There, but some of them are very effective but this movie just doesn't have any real reason for existing I just don't think the purpose is strong enough for me to go out there and say to, you, to each and every one of you to go and see this film so that's ultimately a massive problem it's very very disappointing and it's not coming recommended I'm going to give atrocious one star all right guys that's it for my review hope you enjoyed it so next time you watching movies and I'll see you later bye